Today I'm at the lawyer's office, but I'm taking a few minutes off to show Congress and America how we could solve global warming. Now, it is alleged that carbon dioxide in the air is a part of the um, global, global warming, it's a greenhouse gas problem. And so I'm proposing a strategy where we could take carbon dioxide out of the air and reduce the pollution problems like in the large cities like Los Angeles and New York and others, and uh, how we could deal with the emissions from uh, manufacturing and from you know the, the petroleum manufacturing the, the, um, those gas stacks. Now here I have um, this equipment here. Here's a pump. Here's a, a container with uh, some sodium hydroxide, and it's bubbling the air through it. And at the bottom here, we could see um, it's depositing the carbon dioxide out of the air. And uh, I'll show you the formula here on the computer. So here we have uh, calcium hydroxide and we have the carbon dioxide and it's interacting and producing calcium carbonate and water. Now, we, there's another method also of doing it. Here we have the carbon dioxide, we mix it with water and it produces carbonic acid. And what we could do with the carbonic acid that is produced, we could now take the carbonic acid, add calcium hydroxide and produce again calcium carbonate and water. Now, calcium carbonate is a material that we could use uh, to make bases for like paint and putty and other manufacturing processes. Now, right now, petroleum is using the stack cleaners to crystallize the carbon dioxide and put it in a liquid form by lowering the temperature and they're pumping it through pipelines into Canada where they're storing it into um, old oil wells. Now the, the only problem I have with this is that we're not sure whether it's going to be able to seep back into the atmosphere because the other wells might be uh, connected to those same pools where we pump in this uh, liquid carbon dioxide and it could seep through or even through the rocks it could come out. So. What I'm proposing then is that we take the carbon dioxide from the manufacturing and we could put it in bottles, in those 25 pound um, bottles that people use for uh, petroleum for uh, LPG to do their cooking. And then you have the larger ones where people have it to businesses sell to individuals in these smaller containers. Now what we could do is we could take this carbon dioxide from the factories, put it into trucks and deliver it to the homes and the businesses and put in those large ones into the yard and then they could either use one of these two processes to neutralize it. So in effect, we could go on manufacturing without fear because we're going to be taking the carbon dioxide now and uh, neutralizing it.